Hey, what is going on guys? My name is the Pro Assassin and welcome back to Pokemon A Grand Day Out. This is our mini-series and in the last episode we started off in our home. Uh, our mom basically kicked us out of the house and we went in search of what to do next. We, we went into this cave, we picked up a new Pokemon, uh, Cubone, which isn't too bad actually because Cubone is quite a good Pokemon, he's a ground type and he is actually quite a good Pokemon. Uh, he knows Tackle and Growl, which is not too bad, and I've decided that I do want to record more of this because it seems to have gone across really well. You guys really seem to like it and said it was really interesting and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, here I am recording some more of this Grand Day Out. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and uh, Geodude. I don't want to fight no Geodude, but I will anyway for the experience, but no I won't because uh, yeah, there's just no point. So uh, yeah, I was watching like... I was watching Mr. Golduck's last episode of his uh, Omega Ruby. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. It was such an intense episode. I just want to say to Mr. Golduck, man, you are one lucky, lucky dude for having <laughs> Josh the Rabidash. Like, oh my god, that was just insane. So, yeah, uh, if you haven't checked it out, go check it out. Uh, his channel for he, his link for his channel will be in the description down below. And, uh, yeah, it, it was just a really fun series, and I really wish these Pokemon would stop jumping out at me. I don't have anything yet, I don't think. I don't think we have, like, any repels or anything, so, yeah. But the feedback's been really, really great, guys. I'm really, really happy with it, and, uh, it's really motivating to me. It's really motivating to me want to make more videos. Um, it's because I'm drinking my coffee here, you can see. And, uh, yeah, I just, like, move the microphone then. Um, but, yeah, basically, guys, what I'm trying to say is that you guys... <laughs> The feedback that I'm getting is just making me speechless, so I think that's what it was. And, oh my goodness me, Pokemon here, there, and everywhere. I want to get out of this cave, goddammit. So yeah, keep the comments coming, keep the like ratings going, guys. We hit 10 likes, let's go for another 10 likes in this episode. And yeah, let's take out, let's take out this Zubat, hopefully he won't kill me. Um, as this is not actually a Nuzlocke, this is just a series that I'm doing in between this and my next project. It's just to cover some time for my next project, and I thought it would be a cool thing to do. So here we are. Um, we don't have our running shoes either, so I don't really know where to go. Like, I'm just literally going where I think I need to go. So, yeah. Um, this has brought us out, actually. Yeah, I think we have to go down here, but then we fight our rival. Usually. So, does that mean we'll fight him now? Have we got any Pokeballs? We don't have anything. Hmm, that's not cool. Okay, so yeah, I'm just gonna literally run here over to Viridian City. Uh, the rockets looked like they were coming here to Viridian City. Well, everyone knows that Giovanni is secretly is secretly the leader of Team Rocket, so maybe I should go up there. Maybe I should go up to him and demand some answers. Impot <laughs> I hate I hate not being able to read sometimes, it's so annoying. But yeah, uh, so that's probably what we're going to do. You were underground, you didn't get hurt by the explosion, did you? Uh, you didn't... That's a pity. Oh, thanks. That's a pity. <laughs> you've, got, you've got one of those faces that you, that you just want to punch, you know. Well, thanks. Thanks, weird girl who just stands in one spot moving in random circles. Like, yeah, who would not want to punch me in the face? So yeah, uh, there's a guy in here, and I don't really need to go to the Pokemon Center, but I do need to work out where I need to go, because I'm so confused right now that I don't actually know where to go. We're here on Route 1. I don't want to go on Route 1, because I don't feel like we have to go that way. Um, I'm guessing that we have to go and look for Giovanni, and uh, yeah, so I'm only fast-forwarding here because I don't have the running shoes. There's an item actually over here, so let's go ahead and grab that while we're here. And what is it? It is a potion! Oh my goodness, who knew it was a potion? But yeah, that's the only reason I'm fast forwarding guys, just because I'm trying to work out the game. Like, it is Pokemon Leaf Green is in, a, in a way, but it's not really, because it's been changed quite a lot. And, ah, I should speak to Giovanni. Um, I don't know where it is. Where is Giovanni? Are you Giovanni? Have you heard? Team Rocket have blown up a big hole on Route 1. Yes, I was there. I was in the hole. Um, what about you? 
the blast, yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure that that's the right response for an explosion. I think it's just going to be really cool to sit here and read, like, the dialogue and stuff, just because it's, like, so different and it's just so cool. So, I'm going to take a random guess here, um... I don't know where the I don't know where they are. Like seriously, I, I I have no idea. Like, are they in this house? I guess not. So yeah, maybe they are down here. But I've already been down here, so I don't know. I I'm just literally running around like a complete idiot right now. There's the hole. Um, we're back in Pallet Town. Okay, so yeah, this is weird. I don't know where to go. I actually don't know where to go, and I need to get Pokeballs and stuff as well so I can actually get on with this series. It's supposed to be a bit of a speed run this series, so that's pretty much the idea, guys. But yeah, in my spare time, I have actually been watching um, The Big Bang Theory. Like, yeah, Bazinga. <laughs> I had to do that. I had to do that. So yeah, a Big Bang Theory is absolutely brilliant. If you've not seen it, go check it out. It's a really, really cool show. It's about like these scientific guys who are like geeks and stuff, and uh, yeah, it's really, really funny. So uh, yeah. The gym leader returns. Still seeing that, huh? You know, he's been back for a year now. <laughs> okay, so I'm guessing this is like in the future as such, and I don't know if I have to battle him. I mean, I, I'm I'm gonna guess that we're gonna go for it, give it a shot here, and we're gonna try and battle him. I hope that our team are not. So on the level, I probably should have trained as well because this is actually a fighting type gym, and for some reason I feel so so dizzy today. I, I don't really know why. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to drink my coffee. Maybe it's because I've drank too much coffee. That's like my third cup of coffee that I've had today. So, uh, yeah, uh, it could be that. But, anywho, we're going to continue on th with this series here, guys. And the question for the video today is going to be, what do you think of this series so far? Um, I think that was the video. That was the question of the video last time, actually, because you guys said that it seems very interesting. And I don't know, like, I don't know where to go. I don't know where to go. Okay, I've got one, I've got one, I've got one, I've got one. So the question of the video today is going to be, who do you prefer out of Groudon and Kyogre? With the whole, uh, the whole deal with the, uh, Alpha Sapphire and uh, Omega Ruby. Let me know in the comments down below, and I probably should go ahead and do some, oh my goodness, I probably should go ahead and do some training here, but, I don't know, um, it's probably not really going to work in my favour, but yeah, I just want to say as well, thank you guys all for the amazing support. We have hit 200 subscribers, and that is absolutely incredible. You guys are absolute legends, and uh, I just want to say thank you to all of you guys for that. Also, welcome to the Pro Assassin HD channel, where here we love the Pokemans. And I really don't know where to go here, guys, so um, I don't want to do a court because I, I don't really... Yeah, I'm, I'm guessing that maybe I have to go down here. Do I have to go down here? I guess that I do, but I don't really know, I don't really know, I don't really know. Why don't I know where to go? <laughs> I feel like such a noob. Okay, so I need to speak to Giovanni. Like, maybe the game is, like, I don't know, is it is it a ROM hack that's incomplete? I, I don't know. Uh, you can buy Pokeballs, so we're going to go ahead and we'll do that. Uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to catch ourselves a teammate until I can work out what to do because I'm just trying to like stall for time until I know what to do. Uh, we're going to go ahead, we're going to catch a teammate from this route over here in this grass. Hopefully it's going to be somebody decent. A Mankey, not too bad, but I don't really want a Mankey, so I'm going to see what else here is, is here to offer. Um, this Mankey is a little bit better because it's uh, a male type, so I'm guessing its physical attack will be a little bit higher. So we're going to go with that. Uh, we're going to go with a Mankey. And um, I'm hoping that we're going to be able to catch this guy. And let's go ahead, throw a Pokeball, see if we can. Uh, we catch it with no problems whatsoever. So, Mankey is now part of the team. Extremely quick to anger. It could be docile one moment, then thrusting away the next instant. Okay, cool stuff. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to give him a nickname. And I'm going to nickname him, let me see, a funny monkey. Um, I was going to nickname the monkey out of Jumanji. I think it's Jumanji, but I can't actually remember the name for that. So, let me see, monkey, monkey, monkey. Um, I'm going to call him Brendan. Because he's a fighting type Pokemon, and um, Brendan, as in like Brendan Lee, uh, the uh, martial arts brothers. And I, I hope I spell this right. I, I'm pretty sure that I do. Brendan. I think. Don't quote me on that. <laughs> okay, so yeah, Brendan the Mankey. We're going to go ahead, we're going to do a little bit of training in here. Uh, we could have got ourselves a Spiro though, that would have been pretty cool. 
Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna just tackle the hell out of the Spearow, hoping that he is, uh... Why, why is my Cubone so weak? I don't get that, like, seriously. I really, really do not get why my Cubone is so weak. Uh, we've got another Mankey here. Excuse me, guys. I am forever always belching. I'm so sorry. It's so rude of me to sit here and belch. But yeah. We're gonna take on this Mankey. Uh, hopefully he doesn't kill us. And he does actually kill us. So yeah, we're gonna go with, uh, Brandon... And we kill that monkey, we pick up a nice bit of experience there, and I don't know, like, I, I really need to pay attention to sort of this series because I'd like to get it completed before my next project. Um, I've been doing some work on it today, uh, sorting everything out, and I can clarify that it is pretty much ready. Uh, there's a couple of bits and bobs that I need to do. Um, but guys, it's just really, really, it's going to be really, really good. Um, I'm getting some really cool graphics done for it and stuff as well, so it's going to be really cool when you guys finally get to uh, see it. I should speak to Giovanni. But what's the secret? The secret is that uh, you guys don't know what the uh, what the thumbnail, well, what the series is all about. So yeah, that's going to be a secret. I'm not going to be like letting anybody know about that because uh, I want you guys to be surprised. I want you to be like, oh my god, this is going to be so good. Uh, the graphics should be absolutely amazing. Uh, the graphics guy that I've got doing uh, work for it uh, is really, really gifted, actually. And uh, he his graphics are amazing. So, yeah, hopefully everything goes well with that. I'm super excited to bring a new series for you guys. And uh, right here, I'm just going to do some grinding. So, yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, maybe I would go and do some grinding off screen so that we can take on the gym in this episode. But I'm not too sure, really. Um, I'm always forever, like... I'm always forever like watching funny series and stuff like that. Another series that I've been watching lately is um, is uh, a Netflix series called uh, Orange is the New Black. And uh, don't worry, it's not like a racist thing or anything. It's uh, basically about a girl who actually goes to prison. And it's really quite interesting. Like you, It doesn't sound so great, but you guys have to watch it to understand it. It's really, really good. And basically... Uh, she gets, like, she gets caught with, like, this, um, like, her friend, like, she has a girlfriend, and, uh, basically, the girlfriend is actually, like, uh, involved with, like, drugs and all that kind of stuff, and, uh, she takes, she takes, uh, a trip to France, and the girlfriend, um, the girlfriend goes to France, she meets the girlfriend in France, and she takes over, like, a briefcase, right? And I don't know, I mean, I, 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 I tried working out, I guess that the the girlfriend gave her the briefcase and was like, Yo, you know, take this. I, I'm guessing that she didn't pack it or anything, because in the briefcase there was like ten thousand, like $50,000, I was going to say 10000 but there was like $50,000. And um, basically she skipped customs, she got through the uh, through the custom part where, where you get searched and all that kind of stuff, and yeah, like... I don't know, like, they showed, like, the little part of it, and then basically she got arrested, and uh, she got... I think like 15 months or something like that and like quite a lot like quite a lot of time in prison and uh, murderers apparently they got less time so yeah it wasn't very cool and I love that move the bone club it's just an awesome beastly move I'm just doing a bit of training here and let you guys know about the series but if you don't if you guys if it sounds like something you guys want to go and check out then go and check it out it is on Netflix and uh, it's a Netflix exclusive so you won't be able to see it anywhere else so yeah and uh, I'm not using this video to promote Netflix or anything because uh, you know I, I do like Netflix, but I'm not going to be using this vote, this uh, this uh, video to promote Netflix in any way, shape, or form. So yeah, I, again, I'm just going to be doing a little bit of training here, just so that we can get ready for the gym. And I'd like to uh, go ahead, probably get these guys up to around a level 10. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a nice little cut here, guys. Um, I'm just going to really quickly cut, and then I'm going to go and do a bit of off-screen training, because it's not a Nuzlocke. I don't really need to train on screen, because it's not very entertaining to watch. So I'm going to go do a little bit of training, and get these guys to around a level 10, and then I will be back, guys. So, uh, yeah, I will be right back. Alright guys, welcome back, and uh, yeah, I've gone ahead, I've done all of the grinding that I needed to do, and uh, now that you're actually back, I want to quickly show you that we picked up a Pidgey, and I also have a question for you guys as well, that if you would like to answer it in the comments down below, that would be very much helpful. Do you like it when I do grinding montages, or would you prefer me to just do cuts and leave out the grinding in future 
uh, playthroughs and Nuzlocke. So yeah, let me know in the comments down below, that would be much appreciated. Or by all means, go ahead and follow me on Twitter, the link will be in the description down below. Uh, we just hit actually uh, 1,200 followers on Twitter, which is absolutely crazy. Um, it's absolutely fantastic and incredible. I love the feedback over there that you guys give me when, when you're always like speaking to me. I speak to quite a lot of you guys over on Twitter. So uh, if you're not following me on Twitter, go ahead and do it. And uh, yeah, so uh, we went ahead, we picked up Pidgey, and uh, I also trained Brendan and Cubone up to a level 10. Um, Pidgey is only a level 3 because I was going to train him, but then I decided that I didn't want to go ahead and do that. And uh, I, I did have a little search around just to check and see if I could actually find Giovanni, and I couldn't. So I ended up back at, in Pallet Town, and there's a couple of things I'm going to show you guys at the end of the episode. It's actually quite funny. And uh, yeah, oh my god, that's another thing I want to tell you about, like seriously. You just saw that I jumped, and um, oh my god, that that was so scary. Whew. Okay, so if you guys are wondering why I jumped, uh, that was one thing that I want to talk about in this video. I'm freaked out right now. Oh my goodness. Okay, so oh my god, I need to collect myself a little bit right here. <laughs> oh my lord. Whew. Okay, so. I'm getting all hot and bothered now. Okay, so yeah, <laughs> basically the bed just like, like sunk, it like sunk in, um, because I'm sat on my bed, and it's just freaky. I it's so freaky. Um, basically last night, um, I had a, ca a catch up with my friend, and um, my girlfriend was here. We had a drink. Um, we was drinking. We had a little bit of uh, alcohol to drink, and basically we decided to go and do a Ouija board. And uh, if you guys don't know what that is, it's basically a board that allows you to um, get in touch with spirits and ghosts and all that kind of stuff. Whether you guys believe it or not, I, I I don't know whether I believed it or not, which is the reason that I did it. And oh my goodness, it was scary. It was very, very, very scary. And ever since then, I've been the most jumpiest person in the house ever. Because we did it in my house, um, but we did it in the bathroom because um, we was going to do it in my room. And I was like, no thanks, I don't want to do it in my room in case anything happens. Um, you know, just in case, you know, like it was a scary thing and it was a, it was really scary and basically we asked if anybody was there and uh, they said yes. <laughs> so it was scary and we asked them to spell their name out and it, it was like N-A-I-J or something like that, it didn't even make any sense. So uh, yeah, we, we thought that maybe it was one of the, uh, I thought it was either my friend or my girlfriend who was actually moving the glass, but it wasn't, um, apparently. But uh, I don't know, I don't know, it was weird, it was scary, and ever since then I've just been really, really jumpy, and that was that was what I was uh, going to talk about in the video as well. But, you know, just, that. if you're wondering why I jumped, then that is the reason why I'm like completely freaked out. Because uh, it only happened last night that we actually did it. We, we, we did it on um, on Friday night, and it's now Saturday night. So, uh, yeah, I'm pretty freaked out, and uh, I don't even have my girlfriend to come for me, it's horrible. So, uh, yeah, I've got to sleep in my room on my own tonight in the dark and uh, yeah so uh, that's gonna be a lot of fun and I've got that to look forward to but <laughs> nonetheless we take out this guy here uh, and you guys are all probably like oh my god you're, you're, you're just completely stupid like seriously come on have you guys ever done a Ouija board that's what I wanna know um, if you have what's your experiences because that, that'll be uh, pretty cool to know and uh, yeah so we was watching some videos today on the whole Ouija board thing excuse me and basically, um, I don't know, it it was weird, and don't you kill my, no, you kill my Cubone, you, you horrible person. So we're going to low kick this Abra right in the face. I'm so happy this is not a Nuzlocke. I would be so annoyed. Okay, so yeah, basically, as I was saying, um, I, I don't really like talking about it now that I've gone through that. I, I really don't like talking about it. But uh, yeah, if you guys have ever experienced that or anything, then uh, by all means, let me know in the comments down below. Or even on Twitter, guys. We'll have a talk about it on Twitter. Um, I, I may even tweet something out about it tonight just to have a talk with you guys. But uh, it's really scary, and it started with my girlfriend. Like, I'm, I'm not going to blame her for it. I mean, I it was up to me if I did it or not. And um, my friend was, like, really stoked. He was like, oh, man, it sounds like so much fun. Let's do it. And um, the closer the time got for us doing it, we was all like, you know what? I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. We eventually did it, of course. But uh, we were scared. I mean, you know, uh, you see things on, uh, on YouTube and uh, in films and stuff, and it just... 
it freaks you out, you know. Like it's it's not something that you <laughs> that you you say that you have fun doing. So basically, um, yeah, we managed to do it, and uh, yeah, I know. I, I just <laughs> basically because my girlfriend's into she likes horror films and stuff like that, and that's what brought it on. And like she she made like she didn't make me, but she she was like, let's watch Insidious too. So uh, I watched that. It was really really scary. I wouldn't recommend watching it um, if you're under the age of like. 18 or 15 because it's a really scary film and even I was scared I'm not gonna lie I'm not a huge fan when it comes to horror films um, but Insidious 2 uh, not Insidious 2 Insidious is a really scary scary film and um, I don't know I, I enjoyed it the story's really really good don't get me wrong it's uh, absolutely amazing he's gonna kill me again thank you uh, the story's really amazing like the uh, oh headbutt yes nice nice I can't wait till this thing evolves into a to a Marowak. That's gonna be amazing. But yeah, guys, I'm not really into horror films and stuff. Like, I'm, I'm usually into uh, action films and uh, as geeky as it's gonna sound, like Marvel comic book movies and stuff. You know, like Spider-Man, Avengers, The Hulk, Batman. Uh, Batman's brilliant. Like, I was watching Batman like the other day as well. It's just amazing. Um, headbutt. No! God damn you! This game's actually pretty tough. I'm not gonna lie. This is actually pretty tough. Come on, let's do this. So yeah, that was um, I don't know, that was a, a bit strange for me to sit here and like jump, but uh, I don't know you guys. Now you guys know. <laughs> I hope that you can. Um, I hope that you guys can, uh, you know, <laughs> have the same sort of uh, get the idea of sort of what I'm what I mean by that. So yeah, we're taking on this Ekans. is actually a pretty bulky guy. Um, I'm not gonna. Oh my goodness, come on, Ekans. There we go. And oh, karate chop, nice. Get that karate chop going. Doesn't really do a lot. Low kick. Really doesn't do a lot. Come on. No. God damn it. I've been wiped out again. Now if this was a nuzlocke, this would be over already. Three times over. <laughs> but you know what? It's fun. Um, I'm enjoying it. The dialogue's absolutely hilarious. And I want to get this gym done um, in this episode. So this episode may be a little bit longer than usual. But hopefully you guys are enjoying the series. If you are, then be sure to smash that like button. As I always say. And that's why I need to really like disable this fast forward button. Oh my goodness. So annoying. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go this way. Oh god! I'm gonna go this way right now. Um, I'm gonna face this dude. Uh, hopefully he's gonna be too tough. Uh, but that was the whole point of the grinding montage. Like seriously, I I don't know why. I don't know why I'm having such a hard time in this gym. That not not montage. I just said montage. The whole point of me grinding was to uh, help me help me actually get better at the the game and uh, have an easier ride. I guess you'd say. So yeah, uh, Pidgey. Yes, Pidgey is actually. Grew level 5, which is not bad. We're going to go ahead and switch out Pidgey with Cubone here. I'm uh, going to get Pidgey some levels too, so yeah, that's going to be cool. Uh, headbutt, actually quite high, high, um, powerful move. You know, I can't even talk today, like seriously, I could not even talk today. I'm so shook up about that little experience that we had the other night. It was just crazy. And uh, <laughs> I don't know, I've not been the same since. Um, I've been a bit freaked out, as you can imagine. So, yeah, guys, if I seem different, then that's why. It's not because I'm not in the mood to commentate or anything. I really am. It's just, I don't know. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I, I've just been uh, not myself. So, yeah. Uh, headbutt. Let's go for a headbutt. Hopefully, be able to knock this guy out. No, he goes for the karate chop and kills me. God damn you. Uh, Brandon. There you go. Good job. Good job, Brandon. And um, Pidgey goes to a level 8, which is actually quite nice. We're going quite fast with Pidgey. And we're going to carry on going around here. Um, did I fight you guys? I actually did fight you guys, so... Let's see if I can... I oh, know, there's a... Uh... Wait, this is Giovanni! Why didn't I think of this before? Like, Giovanni, the gym leader? That's pretty cool. Um, I have, I have an appointment. Oh, okay. Wait a minute. You're not on the list. You don't have an appointment at all, do you? I'll teach you to lie to, the, to those who are bigger than you. Okay, so yeah, the dialogue's absolutely amazing for this game. Um, I need to find out who the guy is who made it. Um, and then I'll give him a shout, maybe he's here on YouTube or something like that, or I'll find out on Twitter. That would be a pretty cool idea, but, uh, in the meantime, we're going to use Brandon, uh, Brand, Brent, Brendan? That's spelt breeding, isn't it? I've only just noticed. God damn it. What a fail. Okay, so this coughing is, like, super, super bulky. Uh, I'm going to have to use Scratch and hope that I can kill this thing. Fingers crossed that I will be able to, because I, I do want to face Giovanni in this episode. I want to get it done. Uh, we're at 10 minutes in this part here, and, um... I know, a drowsy, yes. Let's just kill this drowsy. Oh, come on. 
Nice, we killed the Drowsy. Um, I think he's got like another three Pokemon though. He does. He has an Ekans, and I'm guessing he'll probably have like an Arbok or something like that. Uh, Low Kick's been disabled, so we'll go with the Karate Chop. That's not really doing a lot of damage, so we'll go with the Scratch instead. Hopefully going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to switch out as he has Constrict on me, and um, I'm going to be trapped in. But uh, there, there we go, that takes on that. And we got Zubat. Not too bad, not too bad. Okay. Uh, come on, if I die against the Zubat, I seriously will not play this game anymore. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, cool. So we're ready to take on Giovanni, but um, I need to go to the Pokemon Center to go ahead and heal my Pokemon before we go ahead and do that. And then the episode will be ready to end the episode, but before that, um, I'm going to, number one, take on the Gym Leader. And number two, I want to show you a bit of the dialogue and, uh, you know, what this game really has to offer. So we're going to go back to Pallet Town when I finish doing the Gym Leader in this episode and um, I'm going to show you the dialogue for what they say when you go back it's really really quite funny and um, hopefully you guys will enjoy it so yeah we're going to go going to do that in just a minute but before we do that let's go ahead and take on Giovanni okay ah good morning trainer I'm sorry but I can't take any challenges today I have to deal with the explosion on route one what you can't fool me Giovanni you were behind the blast why did you order it why I never Fine, I'll beat the answer out of you. Get ready, Giovanni. What the f And I'm guessing that he was probably going to swear there. So, uh, yeah, I want to keep it PG-13. And uh, keep PG, I guess you'll say. And he has a Diglett. Not bad, not bad. All right, we're going to try keeping PG in here. Um, he uses Scratch. Um, we, do pr we do actually more damage, so... I'm not going to be fast-forwarding this battle. The episodes are probably going to be a little bit longer, so hopefully you guys don't mind that. And he withdrew Diglett... How smart are you, Giovanni, huh? And oh my lord, he has a Rhyhorn. We could really do with a, a Fire-type Pokemon right now. Um, but we're going to use Cubone, hopefully. Um, hopefully the Bone Throw is probably going to... No, 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 Super Effect, no. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Uh, bone Club's probably going to do a lot of damage. He's, he's going for a Rock Throw again. Apparently he's faster than us, which is not too good. Uh, bone Throw, which actually missed, um, which is quite annoying, actually, because I think that the... Um, Nice! Super effective! Go on, Cubone, you got this! Rock Throw, you can Rock Throw me all day! It's not going to do anything! Rock Throw, don't hurt me, you know! <laughs> um, I was going to pull something out of a lyric, that's why I sort of broke out into song a little bit there, but we get a critical hit with the Bone Throw, which is not too bad. Uh, 200 experience for Pidgey, which is not too bad at all. And he learns Gorse. Not bad, not bad. I like it. I really like it. He goes to level 10 as well, so yeah, that's awesome. And Cubone also gets some experience. So yeah, we're going to face this Diglett here. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that. And he uses Sand Tomb. Actually misses, thank God. And so does the Bone. Oh my goodness, Headbot, let's just use Headbot. No, he's using Magnitude 10, oh my goodness! No, 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 please don't kill me, please don't kill me, please don't kill me! Oh my goodness! Headbot should take out the Diglett, luckily it does. And we get a lot of experience for that. Growing to level 14, not bad, not bad. Okay, that's good, that's good. Um, Ekans, yeah, we should be able to take out an Ekans. Ekans is quite, uh, I don't know, I guess we had a bit of trouble with it before with it being so bulky, but, um, we get Intimidation as well, so that, that lowers our attack. Uh, he uses Bite, it's probably going to kill us as well, which it actually does. He gets a crit, come on, man. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we're going to have to use Breeden, because, uh, you know, because I can spell, like, yeah, I got an A in English at school. <laughs> yeah. No, I really didn't. But anyway... Uh, he's probably going to get the poison hacks here. Uh, we're going to go for a karate chop. Hopefully, that's going to do some damage. It really doesn't. So I'm get, I'm just going to go with the scratch and let's go with the scratch. Come on, come on. You can do this, Brent, Breeden, Brent, Brendan. Uh, I can't believe I spelled that name wrong. Uses a super potion. Come on. My God, no. Ah, uh, how annoying. Gust. Gust. No. Oh my Lord. Come on. Oh, for God's sake. Okay, so, guys, I'm really going to have to wrap up the episode here. Uh, in the next episode, we will take on Giovanni, um, just because of the time. Uh, but in the next episode, guys, we will take on Giovanni. So uh, be sure to check out that episode. If you haven't already, smash that like button. And uh, be sure to go check out Mr. Golduck's channel. A link for his channel will be in the description down below. He is doing an Omega Ruby tribute series. And he, he, he his last episode was just incredible. So make sure you go and check that out. And, uh, yeah, guys... 
be sure to let me know in the comments all of the questions for today. Um, the question of the video today is, who do you prefer out of the Pokemon Groudon or Kyogre? So let me know in the comments down below, guys. Thank you guys all so much for 200 subscribers. You guys are all amazing. You're absolute legends. Keep up the incredible feedback and all of the likes that motivate me to make these videos. So yeah, guys, thanks again for watching. I've been the Pro Assassin, and I'll see you all next time.